Hello and welcome to a new ADF tutorial and today we're going to look at DFTB in the ADF modeling suite. DFTB is a very fast but approximate DFT program which is super useful and if you haven't tried it out yet I really recommend you do so. So let's get started. We're going to use benzene in this tutorial. So if you search up benzene and then under molecules you can immediately put it into your input system. Now we're going to change our model to DFTB. We're going to leave all of the settings at default and we're going to change the parameter directory to Dresden. Please note all of the help balloons that pop up if you hover over the options to find out what settings you should use. Now we're going to re-optimize this molecule, which is already done. And when we go to view, atom info, we can look at the atomic net charges. A self-consistent charge or SCC evaluation allows atomic molecule charges to vary in an iterative procedure. This updates the DFTB Hamiltonian until self-consistence of these charges is reached. Enabling SEC requires higher computational cost due to the iterative procedure taking place for each energy evaluation, but it leads to higher accuracy of the final result. If SEC is disabled, the resulting final charges are not self-consistent, thus the procedure will be faster but less accurate. So that means if you select the DFTB option, your calculations will be even quicker than if you use the self-consistent charge option. So these charges are the most accurate ones. And now we will move on to a frequency evaluation as the last part of this tutorial. Okay, we were going to do geometry optimization and we're going to follow it up with a frequencies calculation. We're going to run our file. And we will name it DFTB Frequencies. There we go, save. Like I told you, these DFTB calculations are very, very fast. As you can see, they're already finished. And now we will go to SCM Spectra. And now you have the IR spectrum. And if you click on these different peaks you can see the vibrational modes that are that are related to this and that's it for the tutorial as you can see it's a very quick tutorial we have very quick calculations that's what DFTB is all about quick calculations don't waste any time I really recommend you try this out and if this tutorial was useful for you please leave a like leave a comment down below about what you think and what tutorial you would like to see next. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials like this, and as always, take care.